Hey everyone, Mr. Shell here, remaking the video for burning PlayStation 2 games using Nero 8. If you have Nero 9 and you want to burn a PlayStation 2 game using Nero 9, the video link is right at the bottom of the video, around here somewhere, where my mouse is. Just go and click that and you will be watching the Nero 9 video made by me, of course, with a great description, the great HD quality and overall greatness of me. But enough boasting of my own greatness, which doesn't exist, and let's get down to some PlayStation 2 burning. Uh, first of all, just to specify some things, you will need to have a modified PlayStation 2, either using swap magic or a mod chip inside your PlayStation 2. If you do not know if you got a, a mod chip or a swap magic, then you probably don't, because if you know, you already know, because you already done it. So. To getting that out of the way, you will not be able to play PlayStation 2 games that are burnt this way or any other way uh, except for the real way through the factories that are owned by PlayStation. You'll not be able to burn PlayStation 2 games uh, like this without having some kind of modification. But getting down to the actual burning, you will need Nero N8 here, uh, Nero 8 for this video anyway, and you will need to have a DVD drive that can burn DVDs and you must have a DVD minus or plus R disc uh, more preferably a minus disc but if you have a plus disc it will not kill you and of course a PlayStation 2 game right here which I have and it just happens to be an ISO just a quick explanation about this is to check if it's an ISO you just go on here properties right there and have a look at the image file right there or a dot ISO file if you have something else like a .nrg, .q, a .cue file or anything else, just um, go to the frequently asked questions video which is on the link right here when my mouse is again. Just go on to that video and I'll answer all your questions or if I don't just post a comment on that video and I will answer them on that video. Anyway, if you have an ISO file, then you are fine, or you know, some, if you have something else, just watch the video on um, specified right there again. So just check if it's an ISO file, and if it is, just press OK, and then you are fine. Just You can click it and go into the burning ROM, uh, but I'm going to go around a long way by going into Nero Start Smart, clicking the little fire button right there, and going into Nero Burning ROM, and it will load up like so. And if you actually press, uh, the, just double click the uh, the uh, image file or the icon there, it will take you to the exact same place, uh, maybe a few steps ahead. And to actually get to those steps, uh, this thing will come up here. Just press the X, you don't need that. Uh, you can go to Recorder and Burn Image. And from here, you can s you find your image, which mine just happens to be found already. You click it and you open it. If it appears in that window, just before I showed you that window, then you are fine uh, if it appears in there. And you can actually proceed to this step and everything else should be fine. It's 99.9% .9 chance that it will all be fine. If you uh, if it didn't appear in that one, just go to the uh, frequently asked questions video and, it will, and I will answer all your questions in there. Okay, in this step you have to place in your DVD disc and just place you in your disc and you can uh, it will you can just pl uh, place it in and it will recognize the right speed I get so many questions asking me about the right speed it's almost unbelievable you need to uh, you can't put it at one uh, X the disc specifies what right speeds it can support and mine just happens to support 4x and 8x and in this case in my case I would put it at 4x because well it's the slowest speed it can go and it's not too slow and it can still write it pretty fast uh, depending on the size of the game of course and being the slow speed it can it will write it accurately if you can put it at 8x it will do it twice as fast but it won't do it at as accurately so I do suggest putting it at 4x in my case in your case you may have other burning speed just put it at like the minimum I suggest is 4x you cannot put it at 1x, you can't put it at 2x, and you can't put it at 3x because those are just too slow and most discs just don't even support them. So 4x is your minimum. 
and all you have to do from here is just press burn which I won't do because I don't want to waste the blank disc and it will burn the PlayStation 2 game and you will be able to play it in your modified or swap magic PlayStation 2 and this is how you burn a PS2 game using Nero 8 once again uh, the other uh, burners or burning tutorials like in a DVD decryptor, alcohol 120, magic iso are in the video description. Any frequently asked questions click this video here on the side. Please click the annotation and you will get there. And uh, if you have any other questions just comment on the frequently asked questions video because I probably have answered your question in that video. So thanks again for watching. This has been Mr. Shell telling you how to burn a PlayStation 2 game in high quality and a great description as well by myself. So thanks for watching. It's been Mr. Shell and just enjoy your burning stuff. <laughs>